Hi guys and a welcome to yet another video on the old Championship Manager 0102. I'm going to keep this as brief as I can because I'm knackered. Okay, this is all about, as it says in the title right there, this is all about Nick's Patcher. Now, me personally, I think uh, the work of Nick's Patcher is just absolutely amazing. I, I really do. And um, I think he started a few years ago and he's just got better and better. So, um, without further ado, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you exactly uh, the latest Nix Patcher, which is version 2.19, as you can see in the top folder there. This was released about two, three days ago. The problem is, right, uh, there's always a lot of people that are very quick to criticise when they spot something uh, not right. And th th there's a way to, to, to give feedback and to criticise, and I think it's a bit shit sometimes. You know, when people are very quick to say, well, that ain't right, and that's wrong, and this is that. You know, I mean, I, I left some feedback for Nick, most of which was positive. A couple of things I think, you know, would be an idea for his next version. So, um, once you've downloaded your uh, your patcher, uh, you can get that from the Champion Manager 0102.net um, website, which is in the Nick's patcher thread. So, um, once you fire your Nick's patcher up, like so, uh, they, all, they will all arrive like with that icon there um okay that's normal could not could not open executable for patching and that's right you'll see it's, it's actually loaded up now and you'll see the top left hand corner next cmo 102 patcher v 2.19 which is his version now this next part very very important is you browse to the exact exe that you want to um open or uh, adopt adopt amend sorry so um, if you've got multiple installations like myself, just be sure you go to it manually. Always go back a file, always. Okay, and then it, th here we are. Now, what's that? Right, there we go. So we're all fired up now. Now, there's a couple of things. Uh, there's two things that I can't change, or one thing that I cannot change, because once you change it once, once you change it once, you cannot change it again. So it, it pre-warns you. And one of those is the... Uh, Replacing the Welsh Premier League with the English National League North. Um, if it was a brand new installation, then it would it would give me the option to do it. Uh, the other thing that you cannot change once you've changed it once is update names and transfer windows. Um, or, or, oh, and the swap in South Korea for China. So um, this is your main menu uh, of Nick's Patcher. This is like the the gist of it. Uh, people want to change the year. Um, the currency inflation, I think there's another big um, debate on the currency inflation, That's just exactly what that does. Um, just to quickly hit on that, the currency inflation is is everything in respect of currency. So your gate receipts uh, value, money that you receive, is doubled. Your, um, your bank balance is doubled. Your funds is doubled. Your players' wages is doubled. And so on and so on and so on. Everything. So it's not a case of, I'm going to start with... Um, I'm going to start with times 10, and I'm going to start with 300 million pounds in the bank. It means that if you were going to buy Phil Jones for a uh, million pounds, which you probably could get him for a million pounds on the update, you're going to have to pay 10 million pounds if you're pay if you're putting it on times 10 inflation. Simple as that. Um, so it's not about that. The reason I have it on most people have it at roughly two or 2.5. It's the, the idea of that is to put it as to reflect real life as close as possible. I personally think 2.00 is perfect. I had a conversation with someone on the uh, forums the other day. He has it at 2.5. It's near here or there. Game speed. I have my. Some people like to play uh, micromanage it and play times four, times two, maybe even default. Um, slow it down maybe. Times 8 works perfect for internet play. I have it as times 20 because this is quite fresh. You can even have it as, as ultra fast if you really want, which it, I don't advise the ultra fast. I'll tell you for the reason. Um, it's too fast. And when you try to go to player search and write in a player, it's just too fast. It's too much. And you can see everything else that I've got. Some people have issues with um, screen resolution. And this is where you can alter that. This is exactly where you can alter that. So um, all that is. Replacing the AI tactics. Now, that's an interesting one. Uh, I'm not sure how stable it is. Sometimes I had a couple of issues on one of the previous patches um, with this. But that being said, I don't really, I don't really change it. I always leave the, um, the current tactics for AI that have come with the update. I leave it as is. But if you want to have harder tactics packed for AI, you can. 
Um, for example, um, Sam's Strongest AI Tactics version 2 and Info's Harder AI Tactics, they are brutally hard. Basically, the, uh, the AI teams, the computer teams, will play Wib Wob against you and it is very, very difficult. Um, Alon is very good. That makes it, um, I like that tactic pack because all AI, no one goes Wib Wob whatsoever. Um, not even their goalkeepers. But the downside of that is, um, like, if Klopp likes a 4 3 3, because you've got that Alon uh, AI light, he tends not to play a 4 3 3. So it sort of deters it away from that. But as I said, I just leave that completely as it is. Um, force load all players, that is an option, but it slows your game down quite considerably. And I be truly believe that forcing load of all players is a case of making your scouts obsolete. That's just my own opinion. People ask a lot, well, how do you get that fourth hidden attributes? Well, this is exactly where you get it from. Fourth hidden attributes. <coughs> um, restrict players, tactics and scouters. Now, I'll be honest with you, uh, I don't know too much about scouters. Uh, but the player tactics is you're disabling the um, Wib Wob screens by having that clicked. You'll know someone's got it, uh, got it clicked because their name, when you put your name in, it actually comes up in pink. I didn't choose that colour. Um, but the downside of that also is that you also disable loading of tactics. So you can't load your desired tactic. And if you want to change tactics mid-game, you can't load another one. You've got to quickly make it again. So a bit of a ball ache, really. And you can see everything else I've got up here. Because this is on a, an install that I want as close to real life as possible. Hence, I've got um, the unprotected contracts disabled. And my remove free UK foreign player limit disabled. On my ODB install, I haven't got any of them ticked. Okay, So this is just a gist of uh, the menu of uh, Nick's patcher. But there is more to it. There's a lot more to it. Okay, now a lot of people say, um, how do you get rid of the work permits? Very, very easy. I've just clicked on tools, the EEC patcher, and then you just locate, you make sure, again, if you've got multiple installs, make sure you're on the right installation uh, in a data file, and you double click that. Okay, I'm not gonna, because I've already done it. Um, so there's EEC, there's also remove stadium limits. You do the same thing, you go to it. Uh, because you know when the local council block it. Um, and the referee patcher. Now some people have quite often said um, that the referee patcher is wrong. Again, browse to it. Again, go to it. And then you can change it to what you want. I think I altered mine down to 60. Uh, I think there was a lot of um, questions about one of the updates a few, couple of years ago. That there was too many red cards. So that option was put in. Uh, there's a few things that I don't know what they are. If I'm honest with you. Offset cal uh, calculator. I don't know what that is exactly. Uh, I've got my own way of deal dealing with it. Safe Scouter, I've never used it. I know what an apply patch file is. More about that in a moment. I don't know what that is. History editor is if um, sometimes some of the histories are out. If you want to change um, any history year dates of anything, you um, you can. And it's got me stuck on an egg timer. Um, so the history editor is nothing. I mean, I, I did actually have to go to it. Um, it's actually only on uh, world, world, world things, I think. Um, like World Cup, Euros. Um, now, apply a MISC patch. You can see what it's brought up. This will provide a list of all the current miscellaneous patches. Do not apply any of these unless you know what you are doing. You will most likely break your X by applying these. Best to do a save so you can restore afterwards. Do not ask for support on applying these. You're on your own. And, you know, it's a, the, the truest statement is right there. So many people, they say, I've got errors and I've got this and I've got that. And that's because you need to be really, really careful. Fuck. You need to be really, really careful when you're applying this. Okay. Now, take into account that this is a brand new uh, Nix patcher. And this is to uh, coincide with the, um, the October update. So, the 2021 start year. So, um, and these are all your missed patches. Uh, some are ticked, some are not, because they will... Uh, the reason some are not uh, is because they probably conflict with something else already ticked somewhere else, like on the main menu. But a lot of people, you can filter this, a lot of people say, how do you get... Um, how do you get the uh, uh, Ronaldo showing 25 for finishing, or 25 off the ball, or Messi? And that's why. Mispatches, uh, uncapped 20s, it's ticked, as you can see. Um... I, a few of my, you know, my, my um, specific ones that I, I quite like. See any team's finances, you can see. Uh, and there, there's lots. 
but they oh but 90 percent of them they all have a uh, an explanation um now when i first got this patch a couple of days ago a lot of which were already done for me because obviously nick's done it nick did nick's done added all this 2021 stuff i don't know what baseline is and that's one of the ones that's got no description so i didn't want to touch it i don't know what this copa america is and why it weren't started but I, I, you know, there's no. If it's not broke, don't try and fix it. That's uh, my philosophy. Um, but this is this is easier than ever. Um, see, all these are already ticked, as you can see. I didn't even tick them. Uh, they were already ticked. So Nick had that set up. So it's brilliant. It, enable um, enable enable season ticket money on your first year. I I think that was already ticked. Fix a few bits and bobs. I spoke about a uh, network game. Um, on one of my other videos, what are the patches? Fixed network game. That is absolutely imperative that you have that. Uh, that's another one that I have ticked. It skips past the histories of uh, loading a, a start of the new game. Some people like the histories of players. Personally, I couldn't give a shit about the history of a player because it's all about the future of the game. So, um, and that, you know, is a bit of a ball ache. It takes a bit of longer to set up a game, uh, particularly when you're using a dinosaur like I am of a laptop um, and th there's various other bits and pieces that, that you know even little things now now these two here let me show you these page down patch now this was originally uh, established from Tapani who was someone that um, a guy from the forums years back who launched the Tapani patches all that is right is um, let's pretend for whatever reason you can't press continue or something's fucked up you can press page down or shift and page down and it will uh, advance for you. Uh, I like that, particularly on network games. And that one there now, this is a little bit controversial. Pause on minor injury. The description is in the box right there. The game will stop to allow substitutions if your players get an injury, but not if the player picks up a minor knock. This patch will cause the game to pause no matter the severity of the injury. And I like that. I like that a lot. Because, you know, when you're playing a game, right, and uh, you get to half-time, and your player is not injured, but he's on, like, 15%, you're like, what the fuck? But it will, it will pause the game. I like that. Um, and then various other bits and pieces. Um, there is another one, wherever it is. It's stop the board blocking deals, which I really like. And we've all had it where you're buying a player, particularly on the ODB, for over £10 million. Pounds. The, the player's worth... 50 grand and the board keeps saying it's unrealistic. There's a, 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 a patch down here somewhere that stops that and stops the board being nosy bastards, basically. So, uh, and, you know, and that's it. And then once you've done it, apply it. Now, they said at the start of that, uh, ensure you um, sa save it. So you can save, I'm going to save this now. I'm gonna, so this is like a restore point. So what I advise is when you first start, Save it so you've got a restore point because at the very start you've not got a restore point. Make a few adjustments that you want. Don't save over it yet. Okay, come out of it. Um, obviously, apply them. Sorry, apply your your uh, your changes. Start a new game so you can see that you know it started without any errors and all that sort of shit. And if it's all all good, go back to this and save it so you're sort of overriding your restore point. Of course. If it's fucked up and there's an error somewhere, you can go to restore. Now, the reason I'm saying that, and as, as Nick's quite um, rightly so pointed out, once you've gone to uh, those MISC patches, you can't uncheck them. So uh, the only thing you can do is go to restore. So uh, there's a few of these. I don't know what they are, if I'm truly honest with you. I honestly don't know. The manage any team, I don't really like that personally. Um, as, uh, you know, So this is just pure... You know, I mean, I've got uh, enable seven substitutes. I've actually got that changed on the missed patches where I have it as nine substitutes and you can use five of them, which I think was pretty much real life sort of shortly after um, the football resumed after COVID. I don't know if that's still the case now, if I'm truly honest with you. Something brand new in this particular version of uh, Nick's patcher was if you wanted 2021, which I clearly do, you had to apply this patch at the very bottom here. Apply year specific missed patches. That's brand new. Um, so if you are having 2021 as your starting year, um, then you need that applied. And clearly you can't uncheck it. Um, so, uh, so that is Nick's Patcher. There are various other versions of Nick pa Nick's Patcher. Um, but in all honesty, <coughs> um, I go with the most latest. The only time I don't change Nick's Patcher is on one of my other versions of uh, CM. I'm using what was then the up-to-date Nick's Patcher. I'm not going to alter it because I don't want to risk breaking the X. Uh, and um, 
I'm not going to start any new games on those other versions anytime soon. The only versions I start brand new games on is ODB or the most up-to-date version I've got, which is this one. All the others that I've got are all because I've got ongoing network games that I'm keeping for that very, very reason. So that is how to apply Nix Patcher. It's very, very straightforward. Um, just remember... Uh, your compatibility on any EXE needs to be run as admin. And um, if you're playing uh, a network game, have it as Windows 95 to compatibility. If you're not playing Windows, if you're not playing a network game, then you can have it as Service Pack free. But I would personally just check that MISC patch anyway, a fixed network game, because it, it doesn't do any harm. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll attempt to try and answer them, and if not, I'll, um, I'll message Nick. Uh, if you've got any requests, that you, any videos you want within CMO 102, do give us a shout, and um, and I think, and that's everything. So take it easy. See you later.